friends. Welcome back to yet another episode uh, of the Sound Girl Pod. Today we'll be talking about why would you rather talk to your peers or keep things to yourself than to talk to your parents? It's about to go down. Okay, I'm a parent now, so <laughs> it's, a bit, it's a bit personal. <laughs> but I think for now we're talking about <clears throat> our parents and our peers. Yeah. Yeah, so would you like to start from a kick? Woo! kick start. Kickstart. You have the grace. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think for me, mm-hmm. um, what, I think the first thing I'd say is I really, I would, I really, I really, I really value relationship with your parents a lot. So for me, it would have been, I wish it would have been like that from the word go. For me, I've gotten a relationship with my parents when I'm a bit older, so now I can talk to them about anything, which is a good thing. But uh, I think one of the things, the reason why I would not tell them then is because their focus was always about education, school. Like, there was nothing beyond what, what you cannot do from education. You saw me, repeated, to LA. Mm. Like, mm. To education, can you read your, can we go to church? Can that we? was their love language. Mm, it was only, <laughs> it was just, what can you do? Like, can you pass in school? It was, what did you get this month? Can, yeah. What can you buy? Which books can I buy for you? Mm. What are other children doing in school so that yeah. they can pass the exams? Why yeah. not passing? I'm coming for price giving day. No one is giving you a price. So yeah. I think it was that's why I would not want I wouldn't even tell the mom by the way. I'm going through this. I'm going through this. And you know now what when you grow old is when you realize you even have childhood traumas, you have yeah. experience that you, you would at least you would have come so out true. of if you were if able to share. Back yeah, then. if I have hand handled <clears throat> then mm. things like unforgiveness, things like uh, uh, you know, um rejection, things like that. They even happen in a family setup. But you are unable to tell mom, by the way, mom, you don't have, we don't even talk. They only talk about, you keep asking me, when are you, when, when did you get an A? Why are you not getting a B plus? When you lose two marks, why didn't you get two marks? Why didn't you, why did you drop, yeah? I think then it was about what, the education was everything for them. So the, our relationship was always trained, it was always focused on that one thing. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily any other thing. Like, even, you never even know what your parents, you know, even do. Some people don't even know their parents do. Because they would never, they would not talk about. They never talked about things. Yeah. It was either your, it was either school, and if it's not school, it's school. Mm. If it's not school, it's, it's school. school. Hey, the guys are giving up. <laughs> then we also sent to boarding school, so yeah. you come to home only for one month or even less than a month, then you go back to school. Yeah. Like that, life just revolved around that. But I think for me, now that I have a child, mm-hmm. um, I was blessed with a child. I think I'd want to do it differently. I think it, I, I value. You want to be invested. Yeah, I, I really value. Like I have a friend who, we, we, she's from Eldoret, so we had gone to see her. She had lost her her dad, so mm-hmm. we had gone to see her. And I had the conversations we were talking with the, with the mom in the car. She was like, "Mom, but you know that boyfriend did for me, did for me. and they were in high school." I was like, "Wow, that's such hey. a nice thing." Hey. And then she, and I said, "My no, that one didn't buy for me flowers. It's the other one who." And I'm like. You even know how many boyfriends I've been having. <laughs> I think for me that would be, I would really value Fish. that. So I think for me I'd do it differently now. I'm not saying that they failed, so to say yeah. they even had their responsibilities then. <clears throat> things have changed, things yeah. have evolved. That's what they knew, so they can't tell you anything different. But yeah. I think for me I'd really invest into it. I think if you look at it um, from that thing of school was everything, it's also looking at how our parents also were brought up. Yeah. Uh, if you listen to their stories of how they went to school, or yeah. they, they never had socks, they never had <laughs> yeah. shoes, you know those yeah. stories that they tell you, we yeah. went up mountains mm-hmm. and valleys and whatever. So, and perhaps at that time, parents, the, the, um, also their parents didn't show them like love, that, like being invested in their emotional yeah. being, mental yeah. being. Yeah. So for them, they did not understand that. Yeah. So from how they were raised, that's that's they how just, they knew. Yeah, they projected it. The, yes, that's how they knew how to. This is how I'm supposed to raise yeah. a child. What yeah. matters most is to education. them is education. That's the yeah. best way I can show them love. Yeah. But forgetting this child has there's more to this child than academics. That's true. There's the emotional being yeah. there, going there's through things in school. Yeah. I mean nowadays de- depression is very paramount. Yeah. It's very prevalent. Yeah. People are going through things, yeah. people are getting into cults, and you yeah. know, they're, 
it's just so much yeah. for you just to focus on a child's academics and forget the rest. Yeah. And I really admire so that so kind of, but like that was the one you were saying was talking about the, to their mom like, about everything and in high school. I mean, yeah. that's really, that might, that means they have formed a, such a very good Bond. friendship. Yeah. Like it wasn't parent-daughter, it was yeah. more friendship. Yeah. Because I think in the spaces that we've gone through, you know, with a parent team down, get to either of two, so come up with either story ya kuokoka mm-hmm. ama shule hakuna <laughs> story nyingine ulienda chat ulienda kesha mm. wengine wakienda kesha huru ulikwenda pale mm. you know it's it's, yeah. it's either mambo ya chat mambo ya masomo yeah. yeah. so there's really nothing much and i think it's a very good culture just to cultivate with each other yeah. friendship from a very from yeah, a very tender young age yeah. for me i think why <clears throat> we may not be prone to opening up very easily to our parents it's that feeling of will they really get what i'm going through mm-hmm. and you know our parents have in one way or another taught us how to toughen up at mm-hmm. a very yeah, young age. Yeah, yeah. So when you tell them certain things that maybe I'm going through depression or I'm struggling with this kind of thing yeah. at, I, at my age, yeah. they feel like you're, you've not built resistance mm-hmm. or you're too weak. Mm-hmm. Like how do you come and tell me you're battling depression? Kwani which god are you serving? Mm-hmm, yeah. Kwani I mean like you're born again you're mm-hmm. not supposed to be going through Yeah and then they, they ask or... you what is it about yeah. that maybe you got a dream <clears throat> and you wanted to get an A. Mm-hmm. Only that. Yeah. Like, Only that. Yeah. Do you know what we went to mm-hmm. the I, I don't like when they compare now their times and our times. Yeah. They they started, they started telling you you know in our days as we did not need this, <laughs> we did this we did this. I feel like yes that was your day this yeah. is our time yeah. things are different. Yeah. So that feeling of after all they will not understand so I'd rather just die with this thing mm-hmm. or just tell it to a friend of mine we'll just pour it out to each other we yeah. pour out our struggles maybe they've gone through the same yeah you'll just relate with your friends and your peers other than to open up to your parents yeah and then i think what that does it ends up building walls yeah. with your <clears throat> i feel like this is a therapy session <laughs> <laughs> so deep hey because you know <laughs> by the way most people actually we weaver off not mm-hmm. because of their parents mm-hmm. most of them is because of they can't tell them so they find mm-hmm. someone else who maybe them they're also broken so both of yeah, you are broken so, so you build up a broken mm-hmm. friendship there's yeah. no there's they're no not helping each yeah. other yeah. then also i think for me it's an age difference i feel like what well, my mom is maybe 50 oh, yeah. 60 years old so sh- what, what am i telling her mm-hmm. what does she know and yeah. now we talk about gadgets she doesn't even know how to operate one yeah yeah maybe for right now she doesn't even know how to do tokens Mm-hmm. things like that so we're like why would i really tell her that difference is so big can i talk to sharon who's only five six years old younger than me older than me mm-hmm. and we just chat stories and she really gets me gets yeah? what you're saying yeah and the other thing maybe is also we feel like we have a lot of respect for them so telling them is like you're disrespecting them kuwa sumbua yeye ni kama ah uwe mbona namwambia story ya ku fail exam mm. ama story ya boyfriend mm. like those are things you should oh na nanga kuambia mom i'm getting married see at mom i have a boyfriend we've been dating for 6 months you know there's a come when you already have a nini what are those shit nani you come when you already have a planned out party we'll get married in 2025 when i could come back to mom we are already dating Hey, I yeah. don't know. So, so for some of us, I even I try to understand how do you even begin such conversations with your, but like for you, for you, but for you, I think it, you you had for you how did you do yours? Like for example, when you're telling your parents you're dating. I think how did what, you even start the conversation? I think for us, I think for me specifically, yeah. I mean, I talk about my sisters. When I finished high school, my parents became very intentional, so mm. we created a friendship. So it was easy for me to tell them. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I try to imagine myself having that conversation with my dad. Oh my god. Maybe maybe easier for me. I was like, so dad. Sometimes this comes a guy. Sometimes you tell your mom to tell your dad. Yes. <laughs> it's even better what I love that I could hear him. Oh, so ni mess. Ni mabiwa. Kuna kama mtu. I think it's yeah. just But for me, I think because they created a friendship mm-hmm. and I knew there was they I don't have any other parents. Mm. I had to tell them so there was no solution. But I once I once I finished high school, they became very intentional about friendship. Mm-hmm. So now we don't have we even talk on tables about anything you're going mm. through. Like we are now friends with my parents. So mm. then I became better when I became a parent. So I mm. value what parents do. do okay. Yeah, so it's a bit more intentional. All right. Yeah. For me I think that the thing that would really make people or even myself not to <clears throat> easily open up to parents is and a friend of mine was just sharing this before we started is the fear of being condemned mm. or being judged yeah. by your parents yeah. especially for us that have grown in Christ, very firm christian you know yeah. christian homes yeah. um sometimes for me like i was kitambo i used to think that 
for as long as I'm born again, yeah. there are things that I should not be going through because I'm born oh, yeah. again. Yeah. But again, this is life. You're human. These things that's will happen true. to that's you. That's true. So I used to be like, so if I tell my parents this, they'll be like, there's something, there's a problem. If I say, you're not serious with your salvation, you're not praying, you're not fasting enough, you mm-hmm. shouldn't be pr- going through these problems. Because I, I, I believe you used to think that whole life was, it was supposed to be perfect. There yeah. was a perfectionism yes. thing yeah, yeah. that was like laid expected, out. Yeah, because now you've grown up in the ways of the Lord. Yeah. The Bible says this, then... Yeah. In, just with you today, I don't even know what some scriptures say about certain problems. I don't know. So I felt like, hey, even when I tell them, yeah. let me just deal with this thing mm. to myself or let me just keep it to myself because yeah. I know maybe I may get judged because I'm expected to know. Exactly. There's that expectation. You are supposed to know. Yeah. And hey, these are things we don't, in the first place, we don't even have this conversation. So how do you expect me to, to know? know? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. That whole dilemma. Yeah. So it's quite... Hey, it's quite to me, but I think also looking at how they've been brought up and yeah. them, they did not experience that's, 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 that's my place of understanding. That's why better you can even sit in a table with them. What about mm. them and their parents? It was yeah, no, you can yeah. imagine. So, so at least, okay, that understanding helps to just give grace to yeah. them. Yeah. Um, that that's not how they're, but at least they can do, or even us now that we have this kind of information, we can also do better when we have our yeah, children correct, or correct. that kind of thing. Yeah. But in one statement, not someone easy. told me, um, and I think that's what I would, my partnership would be before um, you say anything else, mm-hmm. is give grace to your parents. Even mm-hmm. them themselves were once children to another parent. parent yeah. So them, they do according to what they know. Mm-hmm. Right now, you know this is the best for your child, for example. Mm-hmm. Your child will know something else better for your, their child. Their so give grace to your parents. They did their best. Mm-hmm. They literally. And then... They were given to you as a. Uh, they are your custodians. God gave them to you. God gave mm-hmm. them. God gave them you. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Them they are supposed they're supposed to raise you. Yeah, they're just custodians. If you yeah. think about it like that, you will be like, okay, it's fine. They did this, but let me just forgive mm. them. It's yeah, still okay. there's a forgiving part. Is why that it's it's quite a heavy thing. Yeah. Um, because also you people also have, or rather we have this thing of. You know, there are, there are parents, they should yeah. also know these yeah. things, yeah. you should know how to treat. And then the, the worst part is if you start comparing yeah. yourself or other, your, your family and yeah. other families, yeah. and you're like, these ones, they, 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 you know, they have such an open space mm. in their house, you know, they just, they, they easily talk about stuff. Yeah. And, but then you look at yours, they're like, Kai, Mimi, how do I even settle? I'm going through mm. this, or I'm, I'm seeing this guy, and this guy is giving me trouble, how do I go through this? So you, you, see, you just... Left the option of opening up to, to your peers. Yeah, if you're blessed enough to have that auntie who you at least click, mm, you can open up to them. them. Yeah. So it becomes maybe easier that way. But yeah. I pray that at the end of the day we may just come to a point of understanding. Yeah. And but it now becomes that enlightened. Easier. Yeah. Should be should we have a better relationship with them now? I really. I but really please go tell so. them if there's something going on. <laughs> yeah. That conversation, Sarah. I'm just, yeah. just imagining. Just say, it. mom. By the way. Or you can ask them, how did you start? How did you this? meet? If, or how did Dad tell you? <laughs> then you can just look for something to make yeah. nice. Yeah, you know look me. for something. Just say, and imagine they'll understand. They're your friends, they'll never, what is the worst they can do? Nothing. Yeah. So Dad and Mom, hey. Anyway, that was a bit deep for us also. Mm. Yeah, but uh, God will help us. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Let us yeah. also know in the com- um you can interact with us and let us know how. I don't know how, how it has been for you. We'd yeah. also like to maybe make our comment section a safe space where yeah. we can also help one another, get to know how was it for you? Um, yeah. Was home such a safe space or an open space for you to have difficult conversations with your parents? Am I yeah. you just kept them to yourself? I yeah. mean, and what has been the solution for you? If maybe yeah. you've been keeping things to yourself. What has yeah. worked out? Is it therapy or counseling or whatever? Yeah. We'd love to interact with you guys. And let's make the comment section quite yeah. a safe, a safe space. space. Yes, yeah. for us. And if you're a parent, tell us what you've done to mm. Exactly. Oh yeah, that's yeah. very, very yeah. important. That's and it from today's episode. Unless yeah. you have anything to add. No, no, no. Until next time. Bye.